Today's daily dose of math is my favorite example of the inverse function. A basic inverse function has this form, y equals k divided by x, where k is a number. My favorite example is the example of sharing pizza, because everybody understands pizza, and everybody understands how you share pizza. Let's look at three large pizzas which have a total of 24 slices. If eight people are going to share them, the student already knows the answer because people are very good at pizza uh, calculations, but I want to show it with the inverse function. y equals k over x will become y equals 24 over x in this case. So if eight people are going to share the pizza, y is equal to 24 divided by eight, which is three slices each. But if six people were sharing the same amount of pizza, y would be equal to 24 divided by six, which is four slices each. Of course, if you're already calculating very quickly in your head, so quickly you don't even realize you're doing an inverse function, and you're getting the right answer, then you might think, well, what use is this? Well, it's useful if you get this question in a test, a math test, a math exam, because plunking down an answer doesn't get you very many marks in most math exams. You have to justify your answer and you have to explain how you got it. And this is a really good way of explaining it, a way that math teachers like just as much as they like pizza. And then of course, what if it's more complicated? What if you have a weird number of slices or a weird number of people and it's not so easy to do it in your head? Well. How about when we have five medium pizzas for a total of 30 slices and 12 people are going to, to eat? How many slices does each person get? Let's try it. We need a new inverse function because k is no longer 24. In this inverse function, k is 30. y equals k, sorry, 30 over x. And if x is 12, y is equal to 30 divided by 12 which is 2.5, or two and a half. Therefore, each person is going to get two and a half slices. And of course, what do you do when there's a slice of pizza and two people have to share it? How do you make sure that people aren't fighting over the bigger piece? It's simple. One person cuts the slice in half, and the other person chooses first. This is today's daily dose of math. Don't forget to like the video and click the subscribe button.